interesting man, Rabbi, um, Rabbi Michael Wisemandel. I'll just tell you a little bit about him. Uh, he escaped from a train on the way to Auschwitz concentration camp, where I've been. I've been to Auschwitz concentration camp, and let me tell you, very, very few people manage to escape a train going to Auschwitz concentration camp. But let's look and see what he discovered. Now, the, the Torah, or sometimes called the Pentateuch, is actually the first five books of the Bible, which is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And Rabbi Michael Weismandel discovered the signature of God in the first five books of the Bible, commonly called the, by the Jews anyway, but the Torah. Um, our English transliteration of Torah is T-O-R-H, all right? S now, for, similarly, we're familiar in the Old Testament that God is called Jehovah, or Yahweh, but in Hebrew, the English transli transliteration of that word is Y-H-W-H. Okay, now what he found is what's called a skip code. Um, not, not very complicated to understand. A skip code means you find a letter and then skip 50, 50, uh, a number of letters, in this case 50. Uh, probably the simplest way to explain it is to actually just look, look and I'll explain it as we go along. We're looking for the words Torah, T-O-R-H, all right? Can you see the circle? Just under, under Rabbi Ben Weizmodel, there is a circle around a, the original tav, that circle. You count 50 letters on and you find a vav, skip another 50 letters and you find a resh, and find another 50 letters and you find a hey, and that spells the word T-O-R-H, or Torah. All right? So that Torah code is found in four of the five books of, of, the, of the Torah. It's found in Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Now, if you look at the bottom of this, this particular slide, you'll see in Genesis and Exodus, it's spelled T-O-R-H, T-O-R-H. The last two books of the Torah, or the Pentateuch, it's spelled backwards. In other words, H-O-R-T, H-O-H-R-O-T, going backwards. So in other words, they're both pointing to the central book of Leviticus. And in Leviticus, this rabbi, ben, uh, Michael Weismandel, he found another code. The Yahweh code, every seventh letter, that very significant letter, seven. The name Yahweh, the first Yod, there's the actual beginning of the book of Leviticus. The first Yod circled on the right there, just under the picture of the Bible, all right? Just under the picture of the Hebrew text, I'm sorry. Um, you find the first Yod, then skip seven letters, and you'll find a He, and then skip seven letters and find a Vav, and skip another seven to find a He, which spells Yahweh, which is the name of God. The chance of that happening at the beginning of the book of Leviticus is one chance in 800,000. Now, I've actually twice met Chuck Missler. Many of you may have heard of Chuck Missler. Uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic Bible teacher, and I've got virtually all his teaching. Anyway, he's... Uh, He's done, he's done some statistical analysis in his book, The Cosmic Codes, and there are 304,805 letters in the Torah. And Chuck Missler has calculated in his, in his book that the chances of the name Torah appearing at the beginning of the text of both Genesis and Exodus is one in three million, which is very significant statistically, all right? Similarly, the chances of the name Torah appearing in the beginning of the text of both Numbers and Jews and one is another one in three million. All right? So the chances of the five separate constructions, the five separate constructions, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and De Deuteronomy, is one chance in 10 trillion, which is impossible by chance. Look at me now. The Bible is supernatural. This could not be constructed by chance. There's no way anybody on planet Earth could make, a co make this construction. It's just not possible. The Bible is supernatural. All right, let's move on now. The Yeshua codes, I'm keeping a close eye on the time here. The Yeshua codes, in Psalm 22, it's commonly called the crucifixion uh, psalm. It says, I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. And so it goes on, but it doesn't actually talk about exactly who is crucified. Now, let me tell you, the name of God in the Old Testament is Yahweh, which has a numeric value of 26. In fact, in the original Hebrew, if you count out every 26th letter, it spells out the name Yeshua, which is the Hebrew for Jesus. So, when you read Psalm 22, 
My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And it goes on in Psalm 22, I am, in verse 14, I am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. If you count every 26th letter, which is the most significant number because it's the name of God, we get the name of God, Yeshua, which means salvation, Jesus Christ. He is the one referred to in Psalm 22. Similarly, Isaiah 53 is commonly called the Holy of Holies of the Old Testament. Again, it doesn't say exactly who was cut off from the land of the living. For the trans transgressions of my people he was stricken. It doesn't say who it is. However, if you read every 22nd letter, it spells out this. It spells Yeshua Shema. That's Hebrew for my name is Jesus. Look at me. The, the Bible, the, the, what's happening here is it doesn't tell you exactly in the text who is being referred to, but in the code it says Yeshua Shema. Jesus is my name. Alternatively, it could mean listen to Jesus. Either way, very significant. This Isaiah 53 is talking about Jesus Christ and it also says listen to what he says. Shall we go back to this teaching? Isaiah 60, uh, 22 going on to Isaiah 61 is the very, um, is the very uh, section of Isaiah that Jesus himself wrote, uh, read out in the synagogue at the beginning of his ministry. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor, etc. We don't know exactly who the Spirit of the Lord God is on unless you read the code which is spelled out every ninth letter. His name is Yeshua. That is who the Spirit of the Lord God is upon. In Proverbs 30, it says, Who has ascended into heaven or descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Etc. And it goes on to say, What is his name and what is his son's name, if you know? Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. But it doesn't say who we're referring to. But he re if you um, read every 22nd letter, it tells me, it tells you and me, who it is referring to is Yeshua. His name is Jesus. The name of Messiah is Jesus Christ. Be in no doubt about it. And also the fact that the Bible is supernatural. Now we're going to look at Zechariah 9.9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shite, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having salvation, etc. The word Yeshua is spelled out every 22nd letter. The word Yeshua is spelled out every 22nd letter. Now, I want to move on now and look at the name of God written over the cross. This is absolutely fascinating material now, for me anyway. I, hope that you've, I do hope you're finding this interesting. This is the name of God written over the cross by Pontius Pilate when Jesus, when Jesus was crucified. Let's look now and see what it says. You see, the Romans used to make a spectacle of crucifixions, and they certainly made a spectacle of Jesus Christ. Um, it says that his name was written, uh, sorry, it's not his name, his supposed crime was written in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek over the cross. Now, it may have been placed on the cross in what's called a titulus, but it may have been a large placard. I don't know which it was, but in whatever way it was, it was above the cross in some way. I, I suspect it may have been in, in a large placard like that, but actually, to tell you the truth, I don't know. But what I do know is this is what it says. In English, it said, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. In Hebrew, it says, Yeshua ha were wemelech ha Yehudim. Y-H-W-H are the first letters of those four words. Yeshua ha were wemelech ha Yehudim spells Yahweh, the name of God. The name of God is written over the cross. When Jesus was crucified for the sin of blasphemy, the Holy Spirit wrote a code over the cross that the one who has been crucified, although he was being crucified for supposedly the sin of blasphemy, actually was God. He was Yahweh. And what's more, the, high pr the chief priests, the Sanhedrin, the chief priests of the Jews, said to Pilate, do not write the king of the Jews, but he said, I am the king of the Jews.